I've written a new book. It is coming out in just a few days, Unmasking Jezebel's Intercessors. I've got bonuses for you if you get this at launch. At launch, before launch or at launch. JenniferLeClaire.org slash Jezebel. Grab hold of that. You're going to be glad you did. This is going to help change everything for people that aren't getting breakthroughs. Listen, you never know. This might be the reason, and it is for a lot of people. And remember, the School of the Spirit TV epic sale is winding down. Once this is gone, it's gone. 70% off. Prices as marked. No coupon code needed. Get on the wait list for enrollment for the new season of School of the Spirit with regard to the School of Prayer, School of Prophecy, School of Deliverance, School of Spiritual Warfare, and School of the Seers. That's all over there for you as well at a wait list. You'll be notified when we open enrollment. And I've got a special, special. Special, special thing I'm going to be doing for all of our students in the schools. And it's going to be once a month, and you can have more access to me, and it's going to be good. So, two things grab a hold today of Jezebel's Intercessors. Go to my website to claim the bonuses, jenniferleclair.org slash Jezebel. Order from my website, grab the bonuses, and then grab whatever you're going to get at schoolofthespirit.tv because when this is over, it's over. I call upon the God who answers by fire to sweep in, to burn up every hindrance, every plan of the wicked one. I call down the fire of God on every wicked foe that stands against the Lord's will in my life, in my city, in my nation. I say God is on the throne, rivers of fire flowing forth, burning up everything that does it is not compatible with the will and the ways and the word of the living God. Today is a day that we are going to call on the God who answers by fire. Today is a day when we are going to fight fire with fire. There comes a time when we need to shift our spiritual warfare strategy. Too many times we keep doing the same thing, the same thing, the same thing, and we expect to get the results that we want. We need to be a people who understand strategy. We need to be a people who understand how to shift with the Lord, not to fight the same, the, uh, a new battle the same way we fought the old battle and think that we're going to win. There are strategies. There are tactics. There are ways of the Lord. There are times. There are seasons. There are opportunities that we must seize. We have to be a people who understand that fire can be a weapon. I said fire can be a weapon, a weapon of our warfare. We don't necessarily get to choose and pick which weapon to use for what battle. Yes, we can always pray the word, but when we're prophetically inspired, when we're led by the spirit of God, we will triumph. Even when we pray the word, we've got to pray the right word for the right battle. We need to shift our strategy, shake it up sometimes, get with the Holy Spirit and ask him, how do you fight this battle? And I'm telling you, the battle that I'm in right now, I don't know about you, but I'm guessing, I'm discerning, I'm supposing that many of you are in a similar battle where we need the fire of God to manifest against our enemies. We've got to fight fire with fire. It's time to fight fire with fire. God's fire is greater than the enemy's fire. I said God's fire is greater than the enemy's fire. God's fire is hotter than the enemy's fire. God's fire is better than the enemy's fire. So if the enemy has been burning you, if he's been burning up some things in your life, if he's been burning up some uh, some opportunities, if he's been burning up some relationships, if he's been burning up whatever he's been burning up, God is a God of restoration and he can restore. But sometimes in order to cause that, that battle to end, in order to gain the victory, we have to call on the God who answers by fire and be an agent of divine fire release against his foes. You have to be led by the spirit to do it. You don't just walk around releasing fire. <laughs> you don't want to be like the sons of thunder who asked Jesus, shall we call down fire from heaven? And he said, you don't know what spirit you're of. That's why we must be led by the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, we might find ourselves in the wrong spirit.
fighting with the wrong weapon, doing it all the wrong way. And we won't get results. In other words, if we don't do it God's way, it's not going to work. We don't fight our way. We fight God's way. His way is the best way. It's the only way. It's the highest way. It's the most effective way. And I'm telling you, we're at a time where we can call upon the God who answers by fire and stand on his word because there's scripture on this. So we are still fighting with the word, but we're fighting with revelatory, uh, uh, inspirational words, the rhema word, the prophetic utterance in our mouth based on the holy scripture. You can't, the enemy can't stand against such strategy. This is Jennifer LeClaire, and this is Mornings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily to the power and presence of God. I'm so grateful that you've joined me. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. There's nobody like him. Nobody compares to him. Nobody, mm, nobody, mm, nobody like the Lord. He is good. He is great. He is seated high above the circle of the earth, looking down on us, loving on us. Amen. Caring for us, watching over us. So come on in, guys. Let me know where you're coming in from, what city, what nation. Shout out loud today, what city, what nation. Drop those hashtags for me. Hashtag mornings with the Holy Spirit. Hashtag Jennifer LeClaire. Let's break the shadow bands. Let's break it up. Let's bring it forth. Let's go on a mission today to see everybody on this broadcast and those who are going to come in break through. It's a breakthrough day. It's a breakthrough day. It's a breakthrough. Hello, Rita in Dominican Republic. Hello, Northport, Florida. Come on in and get ready. Begin to pray in the spirit. Oh, we're going somewhere today. We're shifting some things today. We're going to make a dent in the devil's head today. That's a metaphor. That's a metaphor before some people, you know, what, what do you mean by it? It's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. It's like when you say, well, I'm going to put a dent in my work. You're not really putting a dent in the work. There's no visible work to put a dent into. It means you're making progress. It means you're making uh, making up for lost time. It means you're getting things done. You're accomplishing your goals. Come on. It's a breakthrough day. Come on. Hello, Tammy. God bless you. God bless you, Angela Harris. God bless you, Lena in Pine Grove, PA. God bless you. Come on in, guys. Get it cranked up. Begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to worship. We're going to start in just a couple of minutes, and we're going to do the roll in. But guys, this becomes a replay over there on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe over there so we can hit that quarter million mark of uh, subscribers. Don't just watch the videos, please. Subscribe to the videos, please, at uh, uh, youtube.com slash Jennifer LeClaire Ministries. And spell it right or you won't find it right. I said, spell it right or find it right. Hello, Kimberly. Hello, Bridget. Hello, Ina. God bless you. Hello, Judy and Bridget. God bless you. Hello, Agnes in Uganda. God bless you. God is good all the time. And we're going to read today again from Evenings with the Holy Spirit, uh, listening daily to the still small voice of God. That was my second devotional. And we are going to just read that. It's going to encourage you. These are words from the Lord that he spoke to my heart, and I'm sharing them with you. So get ready for that. You can get your copy of that on my website at jenniferleclair.org. Then we're going to lift up the name of Jesus, that wonderful name, that beautiful name, that holy name, that mighty name, that awesome name. Where we're going to begin to pray. We never know where God's going to take us. We never know what he's going to do, how he's going to move, because it's up to him. We don't dictate his movements. He dictates ours. Amen. If we want to be his friends, we'll obey him. Jesus said, if you want to be my friend, you obey my commandments. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So share this quickly somewhere, guys. We're not doing good on the sharing, guys, today. Help me share it. Share it on your timeline. Share it via Messenger. Share it via Twitter. Share it anywhere and everywhere. Share it somewhere for me really quickly so we can get started on time. It's important we get started on time. After we read the devotional and do our freelance prayer, we're going to get into this topic on the fire against the enemies. I've never uh, done a, a, a theme on this before, so this will be a first. And it's because I felt led to do it. 
People say, well, Apostle Jennifer, how do you know what to pray about? Well, I, I every day I'm just picking something that's on my heart. I used to try to plan them out in the head and get my themes for the week. And I thought, man, that's stifling. I'm not feeling like praying this today. I'm feel, This is not, that's not. And so I just pick them every day. I just pray, Lord, what do you want to pray about tomorrow? And I pick them every day and we pray through them and it's good. Amen. Share this quickly. Good morning, North Florida. Good morning, John David. Good morning, Cindy Lou. Good morning, Sweet Creations. Come on in quickly. And we're going to get into that uh, that uh, themed prayer, and it's going to be good. Guys, I've got to bring in these other uh, platforms, so please begin to pray in the Spirit. Cover me as I cover you. I'm going in today. I'm going in today. I'm going in today. And you're going to go with me. We're going to burn up some enemies. So prayer warriors, back me up. Amen. Be my uh, uh, rear guard today. And we're going to do this. If you've shared, say, I'm ready. If you've not shared, you're not ready, but you can get ready quickly. You can share it on your timeline, share it via Messenger, share it via Twitter, share it somewhere for me, guys, as quick as you can. And let's get this cranked up. Jesus. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get started. Jesus, he's a good God. He's a mighty God. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader of the Awakening House of Prayer Global Movement. This is Mornings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily to the power and presence of God. Let me just prophesy to you something good is going to happen to you today. Today's devotion is brought to you by the brand new course, Divorcing Spirit Husbands and Spirit Wives, Deliverance from Incubus and Succubus Spirits and Other Sex Demons. This is something that many of you are too embarrassed to talk to your pastors about. Well, we're gearing up to teach this class. It'll start in just a few weeks. These spirit husbands and spirit wives are tormenting believers all over the world. Some debunk the reality of these nocturnal sex demons, but if you've experienced one of these attacks, you know that it's real. So the question is, how do you stop it and how do you end it for good? So this is a six-part series. Sometimes I go longer than that, but I'm going to teach you about the dark realm of spirit husbands and spirit wives. This is a very real thing. We're going to talk about the wicked agendas of spirit spouses, which probably go beyond what you think. We're going to talk about how demons marry humans, discerning spirit marriages and covenants. You might not know that you've got one of these. You might not know. Sometimes these things lay dormant till an opportune time. We're going to talk about divorcing spirit wives and husbands and guarding against remarriage. That's where some people miss it. They deliver people, but they don't teach them how to guard against remarriage. Scripture says when you cast out a devil, it goes looking for dry places. And when it can't find one, it comes back looking for its house where it was. And if he finds it swept clean, he'll bring seven others worse than the other. So then he. So, you know, we, we've got to be real about these things. This is an uncomfortable topic for many people. I... Uh, feel that it's just something in this hour. We've got so many people coming to us about it. You can check it out at schoolofthespirit.tv slash sex demons, schoolofthespirit.tv slash sex demons. Check it out. It's on early bird right now, and you're going to want to get in on that. Check it out. Amen. Guys, I'm coming to you live from South Florida. Our church awakening house of prayer is here, and I'm there on Sundays preaching, praying, prophesying, and casting out devils. Our heart is to equip you to live a supernatural breakthrough lifestyle. Give me a year of your life and apply the word I'm teaching and watch the transformation. We've got three different opportunities every single week <laughs> to get for you to get involved. We've got three messages, 1047 a.m., 1.30 p.m., and 4 p.m. are the service times for today. And you can come on over if you're in South Florida. If not, watch online. It's free to watch. As you've just got to register, it's free to watch. Ahop.online slash web. Uh, it's just ahop.online. It's free to watch. Watch the message throughout the week. But if you want to go deeper, get access to about 400 of my morning service messages, as well as the online healing rooms, virtual prophecy rooms, deliverance rooms. Uh, pro, uh, healing, I get that right. Life group. There's so many benefits to become an official web church member. Consider becoming official today at ahop.online slash web 
Church. 1.30 p.m., we're in a series, Activating Angels on Assignment. Activating Angels on Assignment. Check that out. We're going to teach you how to navigate those angelic realms so that you've got supernatural agents working for you in the invisible realm to help you overcome, to break through, to bring provision. They do so many things. I'm going to teach you what angels do. You'll be shocked when you realize how much they do and they want to do, but we don't activate them. So they sit idly by twiddling their thumbs, waiting on you to get on board. Okay, man. Check it out. School of the spirit TV slash angels. That 4 p.m. is Prophets and the Seven Mountain Mandate. Every prophet needs to take this class. School of the Spirit TV slash Seven Mountains. School of the Spirit TV slash the number Seven Mountains. I'm going to teach you how to navigate those realms as a prophet, where you're called to, the demons you face, and how to discern those issues. It's critical for prophets, it really is. I've been doing this for years, but now I'm teaching it. So check it out. Amen. Today's dev- uh, devotion is coming from evenings with the Holy Spirit, pressing in daily to the still small voice of God. And today's devotion is titled, Your Prayers Do Not Fall on Deaf Ears. Your Prayers Do Not Fall on Deaf Ears. And here's what I heard the Lord say. I will never hold any good thing back from you. Father takes every petition into consideration as it reaches his throne of grace. Your prayers do not fall on deaf ears. He answers them with his wisdom in his timing and his wisdom is pure and peaceable. Don't lose heart if you don't see the answers right now. I will never hold any good thing back from you. Trust me. Trust Jesus. Trust your heavenly father, says the spirit of the living God. That is such a good word. Listen, if you're in unforgiveness, your prayer will fall on deaf ears. But this presupposes you're walking with the Lord. You know how scripture says, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it for you. That scripture, that those words of Jesus supposes that you are in line with his will when you ask, that you're not going to ask something selfish because James, the apostle of practical faith, says that we have not because we ask not, but he also says we have not because we ask amiss. So we have to be real students of the word so we don't take scripture out of context and think that we can live however we want to live, do whatever we want to do, and then pray for whatever we want to pray and immediately get results. It doesn't work that way. There are laws of prayer, laws of the kingdom, laws of the spirit, and we need to understand those laws so that we move accurately through those realms instead of assuming and presuming on God and getting mad at him when he doesn't do what he said he'll do. But if you are walking in a lifestyle of repentance, if you're seeking him, if you're in the word, listen, God inspires the prayers of our hearts. That's how it should work. Listen, our natural circumstances can elicit us to pray, and that's not wrong. But when we can pray in conjunction with the Holy Spirit and allow him to inform our intercession, our prayer life, we'll see quicker prayer answers. It's not about a rote list. There's nothing wrong with a list, but it's not just about staying on a list and making repetitive prayers. There's nothing wrong with that. But we can go beyond that and pray with the Holy Spirit's heart and and with 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 the mind of Christ. And that's when we begin to see faster prayer answers. Come on, that's a good word. Scripture references are in the devotional. Pick up your copy of Evenings with the Holy Spirit on my website at jenniferleclair.org or wherever you find books online. Now to uh, this uh, prayer starter from the devotional. I know Father hears me when I pray. I know he answers me when I pray according to his will. Still, sometimes I don't know how to pray as I ought. Would you help me pray perfect prayers? Would you show me father's plans so I can pray and agree? And of course, his answer is yes and amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're so grateful that you have invited us to come boldly to the throne of grace, to find grace and obtain mercy to help in time of need. We lift up the name of Jesus, the name by which we were saved. The name above every name, 
the name at which every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. He is the Lord. He is the ruler. He is the warrior. We get on your side today, God, and we praise you for your mighty exploits. We praise you for your awesome power. We praise you for the might, the strength, the glory that's due your name. We give it all to you, Jesus. You are a generous God. You're the most high God. You're a faithful God and a gentle God. You're a God of war and a God of peace. And there's a time for every purpose under heaven. So we ask you today, God, to help us to get in line with your purpose in this season. Would you help us, Lord, to get on the same page with the Holy Spirit who has written all our days in a book? Father, would you help us to stay in lockstep with your heart because the days are evil and the time is short. And the enemy is raging because he knows he doesn't have much time left. So would you help us, Lord, to be vigilant? Would you help us, Lord, to keep our eyes on the prize? Would you help us, Lord, to stay armored up? Would you help us, Lord, to, to, to resolve to do things your way? Many are the plans in a man's mind, but huh, it's the Lord's plans that shall stand. We don't want to walk in our way anymore. We want to walk in your way. Lord, we don't want to walk in our dysfunctional will anymore. We want to walk in your will. We don't want to walk in our words. We want to walk in your words. We don't want to walk in our own reasoning. We want to reason with you as scripture tells us to do. We don't want to walk in our own imaginations. We want to tap into the creative power of Elohim. This is our heart. We want to surrender at another level. We want to be useful for the master's work. So would you help us, Lord? Give us a reality check today. Help us, Lord. Help us to see the times when and, and, and how, what's causing us to take our eyes off the prize, to take our eye off the ball. I just literally saw a picture of a of a child playing baseball and and, and and just zeroing in and just 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 keeping his his little eye on the ball and he swings and he hits. But how many times have we swung and missed because we took our eye off the ball? God gives us an assignment. He sends us forth, but we get distracted. And so we fall on our face and we wonder, did God even send me forth? Was I outside the will of God? No, you weren't outside the will of God. You took your eyes off the prize. The enemy tempted you to put your eye on a worthless thing. The enemy tempted you to look the wrong way. The enemy tempted you to me be mesmerized by the fire, by the warfare, instead of being mesmerized by the God who has eyes like flaming fire. His name is Jesus Christ. So, Father, would you help us? Help us, Lord, to stay focused on your will. There's so many distractions. There's so many things that come up, spring up every day to get us out of your will, not necessarily by sin, but just by wrong use of our time, which in fact is really sin. We're supposed to stay in line with your will and whatever is not of faith is indeed sin. So help us. Lord, you've given us a great commission and we all have a mission. As part of the Great Commission, you've given us individual missions. You've given us individual mission fields. You've given us individual gifts. You've given us individual talents. You've given us what we need to succeed in our high calling. So would you help us to walk worthy of our calling today, God? Help us to stay steady and stay ready. Help us to stay focused, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to begin to weed out. I see that, Lord. I'm seeing pictures today. I literally just saw a, a picture of a garden. And it's like the hand of God pulling weeds out of our garden. <laughs> Listen, we all have a garden in our mind. It, it's where the, the Lord plants the seed of his word. It's where the enemy plants the seed of his word. And sometimes I just, oh my goodness, sometimes we allow the enemy to sow his seeds or the world to sow their seeds or someone who's persecuting us to sow their seeds and those seeds spring forth and they're weeds and we must pull those weeds. The Lord wants to pull some weeds today. Come on. I said, the Lord wants to pull some weeds today that, that, that sprung up because based on seeds that he didn't sow. Lord, we call for a crop failure of every demonic seed that has been sown in our soul. 
The enemy has sown tears in our soul, weeds in our soul. So we're believing lies and we're distracted. Maybe we get anxious too quickly, just any little thing, bam, we're over the top. Maybe we walk in fear. I don't know what the weeds are that are in your life, but you need to begin to cry out to God even now and ask him, what are these weeds that came from these seeds? Because I don't want them anymore. The enemy came in while we were sleeping. We were unaware. We were dull of spirit. I don't know. But the seeds are there. They sprung up as weeds and you can see the fruit of a weed. <laughs> Those seeds laid barren for a while, but then a trial came and we watered the seeds of the enemy in our soul with our words. And we saw then everything in our life get worse than it was before we opened our holy mouths and spoke the enemy's plan. God, forgive us. Pull these weeds out of our souls, God. Lord, pull the weeds of fear. You've not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Pull every weed of fear out of our soul. Uproot, uproot every seed that still remains, oh God. This, this, this seed of the fear of God's will, this seed of questioning you, this seed of doubt, this weed, pull it out, God. Pull it out, God. Oh, great gardener. Oh, great vine dresser. Pull out the weeds of rejection. Oh, great vine dresser. Pull out the weeds in our garden of, of self-sufficiency. We are not self-sufficient. We can't do anything apart from you. Lord, pull out these weeds of addiction that keeps circling back around. We, we, we gave up the cigarettes, but now we're eating too much. We were eating too much, but now we're working out too much. Oh, Jesus, this addictive personality, these, these seeds that the enemy has sown, pull the weeds out, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, pull out the weeds of, of, of self-pity, God. Pull those weeds out, God, in the name of Jesus. Come on, what weeds do you need to have pulled out of your soul? The God, God, the God of, of deliverance is here to pull those weeds out, to expose them. Lord, we renounce these weeds. We renounce every weed of the enemy. You don't, your seeds in our lives don't bring forth weeds. They bring forth blossoms. They bring forth fruit that remains. They bring forth beauty. We don't want these dark weeds in our soul anymore. God, help us pull the weeds out, God. And fill our souls with your word. Flood our souls with your word, with your kindness, with your joy. Let us feel your emotions, God. We refuse to fear your will. We refuse to fear deliverance. We refuse to walk like we walked yesterday. We know there's a higher plane. We know there's a higher plane. We know there's a higher plane. God, show us the weeds. All those who don't see the weeds, show them the weeds. Other people around them see the weeds. That provoking attitude, God, pull that weed in the name of Jesus. That complaining attitude, God, pull that weed in the name of Jesus. That grief, pull that weed in the name of Jesus. You didn't plant it. So uproot it, God, by your power, by your spirit, in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, pull out the weeds, God, the weeds we can see and the weeds we can't see. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. The hurts and wounds, God, pull them out in the name of Jesus. Do what only you can do and fill us with your spirit, God. Lord, don't leave us empty. <laughs> fill us with your spirit. Fill us with, fill all the places where the weeds were uprooted. Fill it with your glory. Fill it with your peace. Fill these places in our soul with your love. Because perfect love casts out everything that doesn't belong. Help us, Lord, to yield to you completely. And when the areas where we can't yield to you, help us to realize that there's something blocking us. And maybe it's us. Maybe it's our wrong attitude. Maybe it's the weed of the enemy. Whatever it is, we don't want it. We want to keep our eyes on the prize. We want to make an impact for you. We're here for a short time on this earth, and it's all about Jesus. It's always been about Jesus. It's always going to be about Jesus. So help us to get in line with your word, to live a surrendered life, to live a life of consecration so that we can please you and see your kingdom come and your will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us from the weeds, God. Fill us with your spirit, God, for your glory. 
In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Come on, Jesus. God is good. Share this quickly, guys, with somebody so we can keep pressing in today. We're going forth now and to this next segment on fire. I need you all on one accord. I need you all to share this for me. Share it on your timeline. Share it via Twitter. Share it via Messenger. We've got about 2,000 across our platforms today, so keep sharing. We want to hit 3,000. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I was going to pray about fire yesterday and we started to do that, but God overtook the broadcast with a abundance word that just really rocked us all. And this morning I was reading because I'm reading through the Psalms and I got to Psalm 97 this morning, which means I'm just about done. And I read Psalm 97, three, and I hadn't seen that. <laughs> this is the great, great thing about God. I hadn't seen, so, I mean, I've read it before, but, but when I decided to do the call on, on, on God releasing fire against his enemies, I hadn't seen this yet. I saw it today. And that's the perfect timing of God. Listen to this in Psalm 97, verse three, fire goes before him and consumes his foes on every side. Isn't that a great scripture? And look at what the title of my broadcast was before I even saw the scripture. The title of the broadcast is Releasing Divine Fire Against Demonic Foes. <laughs> and so I believe we are in the perfect will of God today, the perfect timing of God. Psalm 97 verse 3 says, fire spreads ahead of him and burns up all his foes. I love the English Standard Version. It says, fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries all around. Come on, that's a good word right there. And then the Amplified Bible simply says, fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries on all sides. On all sides. On all sides. On all sides. So we are going to release fire today against the enemy of our soul who's bringing fire into our life. So Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, would you forgive us for every way in which we have made room for the enemy's fire in our life? Or sometimes we set our own life on fire by the poor decisions that we make, by the sins that we commit. So forgive us, Lord. In the name of Jesus and cleanse us, cleanse us by fire, God, Lord, cleanse us with your purifying fire in the name of Jesus and help us, Lord, because you are our God, our creator, the God who answers by fire. And we praise you as the one who delivers, heals and defeats every enemy in the name of Jesus for our God is an all consuming fire. So I thank you, Lord, today that you will consume our enemies by fire all around us. You will go forth and burn up every adversary round and about us in the name of Jesus. As we stand on your side, as we uh, are, stay rooted and grounded in your will and in your word, these demon powers that have brought fire into our lives must flee in the name of Jesus. Fire leaps from your throne destroying your enemies. Fire goes before you, burning up the enemies that surround you. Oh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, baptize us with the Holy Spirit and baptize us with fire in the name of Jesus. Prepare us to go forth now, marching into the enemy's camp with your fire going before us, your fire on all sides, your fire even behind us. For you are like a refiner's fire and you have refined us for this battle. You have prepared us for this moment. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you are an all-consuming fire. Oh God, you're like a flame of fire. You burn up everything that gets in your way. You will not tolerate the enemy's plans. You will not tolerate the incessant attacks of the wicked one. You will not tolerate it if we won't tolerate it. So we stop tolerating it now in the name of Jesus. You are the God who answers by fire. So Lord, release your fire and burn up the works of darkness in the name of Jesus. Let, let your fire burn up every wicked plan of the 
wicked one in the name of Jesus. Lord, give us tongues of fakataraboshe, tongues of fire. Let them rest upon us, God, to continually cleanse us because we don't know what we don't know. There's sins of omission and sins of commission. There's secret sins, and we don't want an open door for the enemy's fire. We don't want an open door for the enemy, uh, for the for the enemy to release fire into our lives. So let your fire deliver us. Let your fire protect us. Let your fire uh, cover us. Lord, I release the fire of God to burn up every idol in our midst. We throw our idols into the fire even now, like the church at Ephesus, though not the church, but the witches at Ephesus threw their idols into the fire. We throw every idol into the fire. We break agreement with demon powers. Let the works of witchcraft and occultism be burned in your fire, God. Purify our lives with your fire, God. Let the spirits of lust and perversion be destroyed by your fire, God. Release the spirit of burning upon us, God. Set us ablaze. Let us burn and shine like John the Baptist going forth, releasing words of fire, prophetic words of fire, healing power of fire. Let your flame burn up every wicked spirit, oh God. Let your glory kindle a burning like the burning of a fire according to Isaiah 10, verse 16. Cause your glorious voice to be heard, oh God. Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Let your fire burn every demon in our midst. Let your fire burn all the witchcraft. Let your fire burn up the divination. Let your fire burn up every python devil. Let your fire burn up every Babylonian agenda. Let your fire burn up every sickness and disease. Let your fire burn up every orphan spirit, every spirit of fear, every spirit of rejection. Let it burn, 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 let it burn. Let the power of your flame drive out every demon power from our midst. Lord, come and rebuke your enemies with flames of fire in the name of Jesus. Today, we're fighting fire with fire, but it's not our fire. It's the fire of God. So we stand in the presence of the God from whom throne proceeds rivers of fire. And we get filled with fire today, flaming fire. Let your fire be released. Let your the fire of your presence be released in our lives. Let demons be exposed and cast out by fire. We cast out depression by fire. We cast out We cast out lust by fire. We cast out overwhelmed by fire. Release your hot thunderbolts against our enemies, oh God. Cast forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Let your light be for a fire, the Holy One for a flame, to burn up the briars and the thorns in our lives. We decree fire in the enemy's camp. Fire against the thorns. Fire against the attacks. Fire, 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 fire in the name of Jesus. Fire goes before you and burns up all your adversaries. Fire goes before you and burns them up on every side, burns them up round and about, burns them up through and through in the name of Jesus. The fire of God is falling now. Flames of fire are falling now in the name of Jesus on the enemy's camp. The enemy that terrorized us be burned with fire. Let the blaze of glory just overwhelm every demon power and blind them by fire. Mute the enemy by fire. Deafen the enemy me by fire. Let the heat of heaven push back the darkness. Let the raging inferno of the fire of God burn up every enemy plot. Burn up every enemy plan. Burn up every enemy agenda in the name of Jesus. Spontaneous combustion. The enemy's plans on fire. The enemy's devouring uh, uh, agenda on fire. On fire. On fire. And set us on fire for you, God. Set a call the fire to our mouth and cleanse our mouth, God, in the name of Jesus so we can stop agreeing with the plans of the wicked one in the name of Jesus. Oh, let the flames, let the flames burn up every plan, every wicked agenda, every sin in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you the praise and the honor and the glory because you are the God who answers by fire. Smoke rises from your nostrils. A consuming fire comes from your mouth. 
glowing coals blaze forth in the name of Jesus. You are, you are, you are the God who releases hailstones and coals of fire on our enemies. So we praise you. Consuming fire precedes you. A tempest rages around you. A river of fire flows from your throne. You are the most high God. Oh, Jesus, we give you praise and we give you honor and we give you glory for there's no one like you. You are the God who answers by fire. You have answered us today. You have rained down coals of fire on our enemies. You have burned up evil agendas that we didn't even know existed. You have responded in kind to our prayers, uh, our, our warfare, our petitions, our supplications, and we give you glory. We magnify your name. There's just no one like you. You are magnificent and holy. You are awesome in power. And we declare the victory in our lives in the name of Jesus for the enemy will spend eternity in that lake of fire, but we will spend eternity with you in glory, the new heaven, the new earth in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. Jesus, come on. You got to get aggressive sometimes, but you got to stick with the word. Amen. You got to know the word. You fight with the word and by the words of the Holy Spirit that are in scripture. Jesus said, man shall li I live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Right. So there's the Holy Spirit can give you words to pray. Remember, the School of the Spirit TV epic sale is winding down. Once this is gone, it's gone. 70% off. Prices as marked. No coupon code needed. Get on the wait list for enrollment for the new season of School of the Spirit with regard to the School of Prayer, School of Prophecy, School of Deliverance, School of Spiritual Warfare, and School of the Seers. That's all over there for you as well at a wait list. You'll be notified when we open enrollment. And I've got a special, special, special thing I'm going to be doing for all of our students in the schools. And it's going to be once a month and you can have more access to me and it's going to be good so two things grab a hold today of jezebel's intercessors go to my website to claim the bonuses jennifer slash jezebel order from my website grab the bonuses and then grab whatever you're going to get at school of the spirit tv because when this is over it's over so check that out god is good and let me pray you out today so father in jesus name we love you. We thank you that you are a good God. And we ask you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to uh, lift up all my donors, all my partners. I just saw a testimony from Lorraine Fuchs. Last night, our church got a breakthrough for our new church with the town council. Amen. So that happened last night after the prayer broadcast. They got a approval from the town council. You know what? Let me not forget today. If you want to sow into this ministry today, you can do that. I'm going to spend 15 seconds on it. We're going to move on. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. You can use the cash app because some of you didn't hear yesterday. You're like, I want it on that. Cash app, dollar sign, prophetic books. Text the word give to 754 and follow the instructions. Use the PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the Venmo. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. Venmo is at Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the Zelle. Zelle is info at JenniferLeClaire.org. You can use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. You can use the Facebook stars and the YouTube stickers. So check that out. Amen. So, Father, I lift up all my school to spirit.tv students my Global Prophetic Center students, the International Prophecy Alliance. I lift up the Ignite Network members, Company of Seers, my Awakening Prayer Hubs leaders all over the world, the Awakening House Church leaders, the Awakening House of Prayer leaders, and my local congregation here in South Florida, as well as my AHOP.online web church members. All those who read my books and all those listening to the sound of my voice, my YouTube subscribers, Lord, I say bless them indeed. Bless us indeed. Enlarge our territory. Let your hand of power rest upon us and keep us from causing pain. Keep us from evil in Jesus' name. Protect us. Show us things to come. Prosper everything we put our hands to. Lead us and guide us into all truth. Deliver us from evil in Jesus' name. Lord, I ask you to bring home prodigals, restore marriages, heal bodies, deliver souls, and save people in our family and those around and about us in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing and what you're going to do. I thank you, Lord, that everywhere we put our foot belongs to us, and we have the power to create wealth to establish your covenant in the earth. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Guys, join us at awakeningprayups.com. Join the movement. 